two additional women have stepped forward to accuse embattled U.S. Senate candidate Roy Moore of hitting on them when they worked at an Alabama mall. Both were teens in the 1970s and worked at the Gadsden, Ole, shopping center where Moore was rumored to be banned for his advances toward younger women. Jenna Richardson was an employee at Sears when Moore approached her in the men's department. He said, you can just call me Roy, she told the Washington Post, noting it was odd because adults were addressed as Mr. or Ms. Richardson, 58 and a moderate Republican, is among the growing number of women who've come forward to accuse Moore of misconduct in the past week. They say Moore either preyed on them or assaulted them when he was in his early 30s while they were in their teens. Four women, including Richardson, have accused Moore of coming on to them at the mall. Moore has denied the allegations against him. Their first encounter was in fall 1977 when Richardson was about 18 and Moore was roughly 30. He was already notorious around the Gadsden Mall, the newspaper noted. Richardson, who said she once had to hide from Moore when he walked into Sears, inquired about where she went to school. She refused to give him her phone number, saying her Baptist preacher father wouldn't be okay with it. Hal Yeager rap so he decided to call the school and have the principal to call her out of class. Moore asked her out again on the phone. She said she couldn't give him an answer at the moment, adding she had to work several nights that week. He did so another time several days later when he strolled into Sears again, the Washington Post reported. They met at the mall's theater when her shift was done. Moore then took Richardson to a secluded area behind Sears and gave her a forceful kiss, she told the Washington Post. It was a man kiss, like really deep tongue. Like very forceful tongue. It was a surprise. I'd never been kissed like that, she recalled. And the minute that happened, I got scared then. I really did. Something came over me that scared me. And so I said, I've got to go, because my curfew is now. Her friend and co-worker, Kayla McLaughlin, confirmed to the Washington Post that Moore would frequent the department. They discussed the date, McLaughlin said, and agreed Richardson would hide any time Moore came in. I would call and say he's coming this way, McLaughlin told the newspaper. She would go to the back. She was uncomfortable. Becky Gray was 22 and worked in the men's section of the Pizzitz department store in 1977, when Moore came to ask her out on a date, too. I'd always say no, I'm dating someone, no, I'm in a relationship. Gray, a Democrat, told the Washington Post. I thought he was old at that time. Anyone over 22 was just old. The future Chief Justice of Alabama would hang around her section and made Gray feel uncomfortable, she said. When she complained to Pizzitz manager Maynard von Spiegelfeld, the supervisor told her this was not the first time he had a complaint about him hanging out at the mall, the Washington Post reported. Moore, who then worked at the district attorney's office, had gained such a reputation at the mall that managers at Brooks would draw straws to see who would go to him when a customer bounced a check, said former employee Phyllis Smith. Now 59, Smith told the Washington Post that Moore never came on to her, but described how employees at the clothing store felt when he came by. I can remember him walking in and the whole mood would change with us girls, she said. It would be like we were on guard. I would find something else to do. I remember being creeped out. She would tell new employees to, out for this guy.